Hey boys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Beer Pro, where we are taking on the Melbourne Storm in the second round of the Auckland Nines. Uh, last round we had a very convincing win over the Rabbitohs, so the Storm, um, they're usually tough, but I mean their side's going to be completely different, so let's try to have a look and see what their side is going to be. I'm pretty sure our team is basically the same as last round, so it's strong. Slater, Robinson, Kenner, McCrone, Reynolds, Bromwich. Uh, Smith's still there. On the bench, we got Walker. Uh, some good forwards still there. Their halves is obviously completely different. No Cooper Cronk, no Blake Green, but it's still a very strong side. And they're going to start the game off from the kickoff. They're going to score a try. And I was like yelling at the teammate there to come across and tackle him, but it was the ref. So I said in the first episode, our, our jersey colours is like the exact same colour as the ref. But... Yeah, very disappointing way to start the game. The Storm just uh, threw it around. I came up trying to shut shut the play down, but they just spread it out. And that's the you know, that's the one thing. The Nines isn't... I, I don't find the Nines that fun for Beer Pro. Just because your team and the opposition team, they throw it around so much. Um, the Nines is fun just controlling the whole team. But in Beer Pro, it's, not, it's sometimes not that fun. But we try a sneaky 40-20. We always kick it out on the full, but unfortunately it doesn't quite go for the 40-20. But uh, off the back of that kick, we defend pretty well, and then we come up with the intercept. Uh, we call for that one. Almost go straight through, but I think it's Robinson coming across there. And then last tackle here. I think it's Isaac John puts up the bomb, and it's going to be Josh Mansour underneath it. And he picks up the first try, the equalizer. Well, Ben Hunt's got to convert it. Uh, but the four-pointer, should I say. And a nice, nice kick, and Mansour gets uh, above, looks like Kenner out there. So good stuff. Mansour is pretty good in this game, so we have, a, we have a strong side. I'm excited for the season ahead, but Ben Hunt actually does miss the kick, so I don't know why I said that was six points, but a bit disappointing to be two points down still, but make an early bust here. Go straight around Slater, but Slater is going to come very quickly. Uh, definitely not going to outrun Slater too quick in this game. And we get the penalty, and I was thinking about going for the two, but we decide to kick the ball into touch. You know, we, we're we not going to, we're not going to, um, it's not going to be six all to finish. And pretty much on the back of that kick, uh, Ben Hunt is going to pick up another try for for the year. He's he got a couple last game, and Seguiaro, what an offload. Uh, Benny Hunt gets it out to us. We spread it out to the number 13 here. I don't know who that is. Maybe Adam Docker. And he was over for the try, but unselfishly, he gives it off to Ben Hunt, and he picks up the try. So, a good decision not to go for the for the two points, and we make it count. Ben Hunt gets the conversion, so 10-6, up by four. A good comeback, and straight away, the Storm. Uh, silly pass back on the inside, and Kurt Mann it is, playing against his old club. He's going to come up with the... Well, he didn't intercept it, but they pass it straight out to him. And Kurt Mann picks up a try. Unfortunately, he uh, he was silly. He didn't go for the bonus points, which is always annoying. But uh, that's three three tries on the trot. Uh, what a turnaround this game has been. The Storm scored, uh, scored in the first set of the game. Now it's 16-6. to six, So uh, not too bad. As right here, one more play before halftime. See if we can get something happening. And they came racing up. I wasn't expecting that. But Seguio... Gets the offload away, the Storm. I was a little worried they were going to go and score on us there, but fortunately for us, we we get the ball back. But straight up from uh, second half, the Storm are going to come up with the strip and going to go straight on the attack, and we come up with a big hit there. The inside pass, I think it's Cameron Smith. He was through the gap, but thankfully we were covering up, and last tackle here, they put up the bomb. It's pretty well placed. The Storm player is going to get underneath it, bat it back. <laughs> thankfully, we covered across there just in case, and... We had to make a big tackle, so good stuff there. And then coming out of trouble here, uh, what was that? We spread it out, and I think it might have been Isaac John. He should have just kept going right, but for some reason he threw it back to the middle as this mic is... Oh, shit, the mic is falling. Hopefully that's not too loud. But <laughs> he fucking threw it back, gets intercepted, so we're going to have to come up with more defense, and we're doing it pretty well so far. He always barges his way over there just to... Like a millimeter short. That was like right on the line. Cameron Smith runs out dummy half. We tackle him, drive him back. Last tackle here. And the number two there, I think it's Mansell, comes up with a huge tackle, sprinting up. And then wouldn't you believe it, we're making pretty good ground here. Kurt Mann just throws the most ridiculous offload. 
to no one. There was actually none of our plays around there. So the Storm are going to get another chance to attack. And it's going to be Jesse Bromwich picking up his second try. And it's in the bonus zone as well. Which was just uh, just so annoying. Um, we, yeah, poor start. I don't know where the hell Ben Hunt was going there. But we um, sort of panicked. I went for the low tackle. I could have potentially gone for the, just a normal tackle and might have been able to stop the try, but uh, pretty pretty tough to stop that. So we're only up by three points, which is very, very nervous. A uh, couple minutes to go, and the Storm just had all the momentum. And as you see right here, another intercept. And on the back of that, it's going to be Richard Kenner to score potentially the match winner. I, oh, my God. This game... I don't usually get like super angry or upset at video games, but this match, I was just fuming. I was so mad. I was just like, I was so close to just like turning it off, just like shutting down um, and just redoing it. I couldn't believe this game. I was just, oh, it was ridiculous. But we do get a chance. We have a chance. They're only up by one point. We have like two, yeah, a couple of plays left in the game, 30 seconds left to make something happen and looking at it maybe we should have gone for a field goal but you know 50 meters out and unfortunately last tackle couldn't really do anything and then right here I was just frantically trying to get back to call for the pass but it's going to be Seguiari just puts in the downfield kick just just terrible play like oh my god but as you see we lose the game oh, I, I can't believe I can't believe we lost that they just kept throwing intercepts we did pick up man of the match but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time